Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company. In this video, I will show you how to customize the Alteryx data cleansing tool to your needs. Let's start with a short introduction to how it works. For this, we created a small table with three columns. The first column var1 contains characters. var2 contains numbers and var3 is empty. The last row is also empty. In the select tool we can check the types of the three variables again. In the next step we add the cleansing tool. With remove null data we can remove empty rows and columns. We activate the two options remove null rows and remove null columns, but do not select any variables. We run the workflow and see that both var3 and the last row are deleted. So this is a function that works independently of the selected fields. This option can be especially helpful when you are working with Excel tables. Now we select all variables. With replace nulls, null values are converted into zero or blanks. All other options refer to strings. We have various options to remove unwanted characters or to convert everything to lower or upper case. In this example we want to remove all null values, where remove all spaces and punctuation. With this, we have cleaned up our dataset. This works very well, but I now also want to convert the umrouts with the data cleansing tool. To do this, I right click on the tool in the toolbar and select open macro. The macro opens in a new window. I won't explain how the macro works in detail, but if you're into macro programming, it's worth looking at it. In the toolbox interface we find the individual options that are displayed in the tool. Select fields to cleanse, remove null rows, remove null columns, and so on. For every option the macro contains an own toolbox and in the toolboxes you find the same macro data cleansing multi-field macro that implements the different functions. We will now also use this macro for our adaptions. For example, I copy the toolbox leading and trailing white space and paste it at the end. I rename the box German umlauts. I link the two detour tools to the workflow and the macro to the sample tool. Now I need a new checkbox for the umlauts, which we link to the first detour tool. I select the macro and click on questions in the configuration window. In the field expressions I use the replace function to change the first umlaut O. Before we can test our modifications, we have to adjust the interface designer. Under view, interface designer, we can activate the window. First we add a group box, which we call German umlauts. We move our checkbox into the group box. Now we have to configure our macro. To do this, we click into the workspace and select the tab meter info in the configuration window. We add customized to the name and the description, it's customized by user. If we do not change the name in the tool palette, the tool will be displayed in the preparation palette. Before I save the macro, I have to define the storage location. To do this, I select User Settings. Edit User Settings. Macros. Set a folder as the storage location, now defined as the default. I save our macro under Cleanse Customized. Now I click on Preparation, and find our macro next to the Alteryx Macro Data Cleansing. I add our macro to the workflow and see the new group box with German umlauts.
We test it and... Hooray! It works. Now we just have to insert the other umlauts. We can do this with the following syntax, which is quite confusing. It's better if we handle each letter separately by copying our macro and adjusting the formula. We test our macro again. Perfect. Now we have added a function to our cleansing tool. If you liked the video, give us a like and if you are interested in the topics data science and location intelligence, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.